Hi, my name's Leomi Anderson and I'm a model from London and um, in my spare time I have a blog which is crackchannacup.com and on that I like to, you know, do behind the scenes of the fashion industry as well as my other interests. Hard. Oh, there's so many. Um, obviously, last year I walked for Victoria's Secret, which was amazing. It was such a great experience. Um, I'm a big Kanye West fan, so doing Yeezy season one and two was amazing as well. When I was backstage at a show, um, one of the team members asked the makeup artist who's ready for makeup and when it actually came down to it she only had one brown foundation which wasn't my shade and she was trying to mix it with foundation which was for um, a white model to try and make my colour, my skin tone and it was just looking mad ashy and I just said to her hi by any chance do you actually have any foundation in my colour and she was just like no so I brought out my makeup bag and I said okay so this is what I use for my concealer this is what I use for my foundation but and I had to you know bring out my makeup bag in order to get my makeup done successfully and and it's kind of a situation that a lot of black models um, run into during fashion week that um, either the makeup artists are ill-equipped or are not very confident in doing dark skin and as a result um, we either walk down the runway looking really ashy or we have to correct our makeup in the toilets which I've had to do for my friends many times during fashion week. Um, I would definitely say that it's a lot harder for um, black models in Milan in general because it's they're a lot more behind, I would say, in their um, shows. Um, and also places like um, Germany as well, where they can sometimes say things that are really offensive to models of colour. You feel very offended by it as just a black person in general, but as a model, you feel like I'm sitting here next to a white model and you know I'm being mistreated, whereas she's she's fine and she's confident to sit in anyone's makeup chair for example she can sit with a, a black makeup artist or a white makeup artist and they're gonna have her skin her skin tone and you know black models always have to feel like they have to either bring extra stuff or have to be prepared that maybe you know they're going to be spoken to in a certain way at a casting or at a job and it's really unfair I would definitely say that there has been a lot more positive attitude, a lot more of a positive attitude towards um, making the runways a lot more diverse. You have designers like Jeremy Scott, who have such a diverse cast and I love working with him. Um, there's a lot of casting directors who I've worked with who are, you know, very good when it comes to um, having a diverse range of models in their show. So I feel like um, race is always one of those taboo subjects that people are very touchy to discuss. Um, people don't want to speak too much about it and you know no change actually come from it because then it's just all talk and um black models themselves as well sometimes feel a bit of a way to speak about it because you know sometimes they can feel like if i speak about it too vocally then um you know some people might not want to work with me etc but i don't feel i don't feel like that's necessarily true actually i feel like you just have to approach it in a situ in a, a way that we can all come to a compromise and everyone can be happy as opposed to like me attacking the fashion industry and that kind of thing. I think it's one of those scenarios where it has to be spoken about in order for any change to come. And I don't think people should be scared to have a conversation about um, race in fashion. That's Justin Bieber. Wow. I mean, the 60 second makeup slash trend challenge. Overdrawn lip.